Welcome to another video. We're here at Abergavenny Castle. Welcome to Abergavenny Castle. Nestled in the heart of Wales, join us as we embark on a journey through centuries of rich history and architectural splendour. Though now in ruins, the castle's imposing walls and towers whisper tales of battles fought and won, of noble lords and ladies who once graced its halls. Abergavenny Castle resides in Monmouthshire. Wales and was built by the Norman Lord Hamelin de Ballon around 1087 to guard the River Usk and the lowland areas south of the market town of Abergavenny from incursions by the Welsh from the hills to the north and west. The original castle was a typical Norman Mott and Bailey style castle with a surrounding ditch and wooden palisade walls. Soon after 1100, a stone keep was built to replace the wooden keep. In the 1160s, Henry Fitzmiles, the first Earl of Hereford and Lord of Abergavenny was killed. Reputedly by Cecil Ap de Vanwell of Castle Arnacht. Without a male heir, the Lordship and castle passed to Henry's daughter Bertha's husband, William de Brose. William rebuilt features of the castle and added the curtain wall parts of which remain today. In 1175, Abergavenny Castle was the scene of an infamous massacre over Christmas. De Brose called Cecil and his son Geoffrey to the castle and other leaders from Gwent supposedly as an act of reconciliation. De Brose then had the men killed in the castle's great hall to avenge Henry Fitzmiles due to William de Brose's actions. Sanctions were levied against him and he was retired from public life, resulting in the castles being passed to his son, William in 1182. Howell Ap Lawith, Lord of Caerleon, ordered the destruction of Dingstow Castle and had Abergavenny Castle set afire in retribution for the murder of Cecil. The castle was rebuilt in 1190 from local red sandstone to make it more defensible. Five towers were built along the curtain wall in addition to a new keep. King John of England visited the castle in 1215. Abergavenny Castle was expanded by the Hastings family who added two western towers, one circular and one polygonal. These were built between 1295 and 1314.
In 1404, the town of Abergavenny was sacked and burned by Welsh forces during the rebellion of Owen Glyndwr. The castle Barbican dates from around that period. During the English Civil War, as Roundheads neared the castle, Charles I ordered a slighting of the castle to render it indefensible. Most of the castle buildings, including the keep, were destroyed. The castle was left in ruins until 1819, when Henry Neville, second Earl of Abergavenny, had a hunting lodge built on the mott where the keep once stood. Abergavenny Castle is a picturesque ruin today. The hunting lodge still exists and is used to house the Abergavenny Museum. The oldest part of the current castle is the mott or mound where the hunting lodge now resides. Ruins of a round tower, a polygonal solar tower and the barbican still exist, as well as part of the curtain walls. The museum is open to the public. The inner and outer wards are little more than open grassy fields and an excellent place for a picnic today. Abergavenny Castle can be thoroughly explored in a couple of hours. To make a full day of visiting castles, there are many in this location, including White Castle, Grossmont, Skin Frith and Raglan, all within 15 and 20 miles of each other. Let's go and have an explore of the museum, which is housed in the hunting lodge. Let's go and take a look in the museum.
And that's it, Abergavenny Castle and Museum. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And we'll see you all in the next one.